Last week we talked about storytelling and how much uh, uh, how important it is to be telling stories in the course of your presentation. You don't want to just give facts. Remember, facts tell and stories sell. So we want to have stories to back up your facts. Today I want to add on to that just a little bit with what I call a duh question. Now when I say a duh question, it's D-U-H exclamation point. Duh, right? And what I mean by that, it's a question that has only one answer, right? Like, hey, do you, uh, do you need air? Duh, of course I need air, right? There's no other answer. The key to asking duh questions is you give the answer to the homeowner and then you ask the question. And in there, you can use a story to make your point. So it could go something like this. Let's suppose you wanted to make sure your homeowner knew that it was important that you carried workman's compensation insurance, right? That's what's really important. Uh, and it is very important, right? Because a lot of cheap companies will cut workman's comp because workman's comp is very expensive. So you want to make the point to your homeowner that workman's comp is important and that you carry workman's comp. Now, you could just give them the fact. Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, workman's compensation is very important, and we carry workman's compensation insurance, right? That's a fact. But if I want to put it into a story and then turn it into a duck question, I could do it like this. Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, uh, a lot of times companies, to save money, will cut corners on workman's compensation insurance and they will actually eliminate their workman's compensation insurance to save some money. Now this could be a very serious situation for you. Suppose someone's up there working in your attic and they get hurt. They come down out of the attic and they rush them off to the hospital, uh, but there's a permanent injury, right? This is not child's play. You know, we got tin snips and drills and torches and everything else, uh, and sometimes people get hurt. So suppose one of the workers on an installation crew gets hurt in your attic. They take him to the hospital. He's now on disability. He cannot do HVAC work anymore and he goes out and hires a personal injury attorney, uh, attorney to file a workman's comp claim against the business owner, against the business. Well, they find out that to save a little money, the owner of the company had dropped their workman's compensation. Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, where do you suppose the attorney is going to come if the company doesn't have workman's comp? That's right, they're going to come back to the homeowner. The reality is people will sue you over anything anymore. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, how would you feel if you hired a company to do some work in your house and they, they got hurt and then you were on the hook. Well, I'm sure that wouldn't feel very good. Exactly. Super, super important, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, that any contractor in your house, they have to carry workman's comp and you have to verify they have workman's comp because if someone gets hurt in the job and they don't have workman's comp, it's going to come back on you. Now, here's the duck question. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, do you think it's important for a company to have workman's comp and to show proof of it if they're going to work in your home? Duh. Homeowner's going to say, well, yeah. Then you say these magic words. Why do you say that? And they'll say, well, because if a guy gets hurt in my property, I don't want to be on the hook. Exactly. You see, what I did in that moment is I got them to make the declaration. I made the declaration first by giving them the answer, but then I turned right around and said, do you think that's important? And they're going to say, well, of course it's important. Why do you say that? And they're going to come back and restate exactly what you just said. Now, they are making public declarations that it's critically important for contractors to carry workman's compensation insurance so if someone gets hurt on their property, they don't get sued. That's going to be pretty powerful when you get to the end because now they're thinking, they're not just hearing you say it, they're telling you it's important that a contractor proves workman's compensation insurance. Well, the two guys in before you probably didn't do that, did they? So it becomes a very powerful, it's a simple way, but a very powerful way to get your homeowner to make public declarations that are consistent with taking actions that you want, which is to trust you with the heating and air conditioning uh, situation, right?